Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I've got the beautiful Keisha modeling for me this Kim Kardashian inspired look that we created together. If you are interested to see how we got it, then please keep watching. So to start off, I'm priming Keisha's eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer. And then I'm blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Jumping into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, I'm grabbing Bay to set that base on my Anastasia A10 brush. And then with my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush, the 228 brush, grabbing Sandalwood to start building a transition shade. And now grabbing my Sigma eye shading brush, the E55, and grabbing the shade Moon Dust and placing that on her lid. Now I've picked up um, Rose Gold from the Huda Beauty palette on my finger, placed it on the lid and then blending it out with the 228 brush by Zoeva. With the same Zoeva brush, I'm grabbing a Bossy and Man Eater and just adding a bit of warmth to those shades. Now with my Morphe G28 Definer brush, I've picked up a Black Truffle and I'm just creating a wing and I'm blending that out with my Zoeva 235 Contour Shader brush. So this will create like a wing-like effect, but it won't be anything intense. It'll just lift the eyes without the actual black wing. For Keisha's lashes, we're only going to be brushing them to brush out any fallout and neaten them as she has lash extensions. So we're not going to be applying no lashes or mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm grabbing my Professional Primer and blending that out with my Zoeva 109 Face Paint Brush. And I've applied it mainly to the center of the face, blending out what's, whatever product is left on my brush. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm mixing two shades, 118 and 128, and I'm applying it to the face with my Inglot foundation brush, and then I will be blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And to add that extra bit of coverage, I'm grabbing my Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the shade 128 and I'm applying it mainly just to the center of the face and blending it out with the Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Light and I've mixed a little bit of the 118 foundation by Makeup Forever and I'm blending it out with the damp beauty blender also. To set the under eyes, I'm applying some loose powder. This is the RCMA No Color Loose Powder. To dust it away, I've picked up on the same brush some of the pressed powder by Australis in the shade Nude and I'm just dusting away the under eye bake and whatever's left on the brush, I'm dusting all over the face. On my Nutramedics blush brush, I'm using that to contour using the Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Kit and I've picked up Havana. This adds a bit of definition and also warms up the face. And I'm just contouring her forehead and bringing it down to her jawline. Then I go ahead and grab the A12 by Anastasia, the A12 brush, and I pick up Fawn to contour her nose. For bronzer, I'm using my 126 Cheek Finish Brush by Zoeva with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and just bronzing up the face. <music> 
for blush, I'm using my Inglot Angled Brush with the Sigma Nymphior Aura Blush. And I'm just picking up some more of that No Colour Powder on my Beauty Blender just to define her contour. As a base for highlighter, I'm using the Astralis Liquid Strobe Illuminating Drops in the shade Gold and I've just applied them straight onto her skin and I'm blending them out with the Beauty Blender. On my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush, I've picked up the shade Glow Getter from the Nicole and Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm applying that to the high points of her face, so her cheekbones, Cupid's bow and bridge of the nose. Now jumping back into the Huda Beauty palette, I've grabbed Sandalwood and a bit of Henna and blending that out with the 228 Zoeva brush. Then I've picked up Coco and on the Morphe G28 brush and then I've gone in again and blended it out with the 228 brush by Zoeva. Using that definer brush just to fill in the gaps in between her lashes and create that smoky effect look. With my Sigma E55 eyeshading brush, I've picked up Glow Getter as well and I'm applying it into the inner corners and her brow bone. And for lipstick, I'm using the ABH Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. And that completes the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in seeing me transform Keisha's look into a Coachella inspired look, then make sure to subscribe because my next video it will be just that. I hope you enjoyed again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!